Hey, I'm Stu, and I'm a product manager at SAS for Visual Analytics, and this is five ways to use parameters. Parameters in Visual Analytics can be used for all sorts of things. Once you start using them, you'll wonder how you live without them. But if this is your first time hearing about parameters, check out the Introduction to Parameters video. But if you're here and you're ready to start using parameters, then you're in the right place. Let's get started. Example one, dynamic ranks. Let's say we have a bar chart of horsepower for every model of vehicle from sashelp.cars. We want to look at the top 10 fastest cars. Well, normally we could do that by going to ranks, click a new rank, and adding a rank on model. And it gives us the top 10 fastest cars. But what if we wanted to look at the top 15? Well, we would need to manually change that and then save the report. But not everybody needs to see that. Maybe somebody just wants to see the top 10 or even the top five we can give them that control. Here's how you do it. We'll go to our data pane, click new data item, click on parameter. Let's call it rank. Its type is numeric, it has a minimum value of one and a maximum value of 15. We'll change the format to be integers only. We'll click okay. And now we'll change the default to a value within our range. And we'll click okay. Next, we're going to add this rank parameter to a slider. So we'll go to the roles, go to parameter, and add rank. Currently, it doesn't do anything, so let's make it actually do something. Go to the bar chart, and go to ranks. And notice this drop-down list here under count. Click it, and select rank. Now, whenever you change the slider, this rank value also changes. Example two. Filter descriptions. Sometimes you have controls that are within drop-down menus at the top of your report. It's hard to tell what people have filtered to unless they hover over each one. You can make it easier for them by giving them a user-friendly filtering description. And the way we do this is through parameters. So let's click on drivetrain and take a look at the roles. We have our category here for drivetrain and then a parameter for drivetrain. Same thing with type and origin. Now we can pass this into dynamic text. Notice we have the three parameters in here, drivetrain, type, and origin. If we double click this text, we can see drivetrain, type, and origin are just dynamic text values within here. Now whenever users change filter values under these drop-down lists, the dynamic text changes and people can see exactly what they filter to within their data. Example three, text search. Here we have an excerpt of text from the definition of machine learning on Wikipedia. And normally with action-based text search, you can type in words and start pulling up specific rows. But what if we wanted to filter to every row that contained the word machine? Well, it wouldn't work because no data matches exactly machine. So how do we make it so that we can only pull up rows that contain that word? Well, we could do that with parameters. First, create a new text input box, then go to data, click new, click parameter. We're going to call this parameter text to search. Its type is going to be character, and we'll click OK. Add that parameter to your text input box. You don't need any other roles within this. Next, Go to your list table, go to filters, new, advanced filter. And we're going to type in the following. The text contains text to search parameter. In other words, this is saying our text must contain whatever we've typed in. And since we want this to be case insensitive, we will upcase both of these. And that makes it easier to search. And then we'll click OK. Now, if we go to the parameter-based text search and type in machine, we get every row that contains the word machine. Example four, exclusion filter. Normally in visual analytics, filters are inclusive. When you click on something, you will filter to that value. 
But what if you wanted it to exclude that value? Well, we can do that with parameters. Here we have a map of the United States and we want to exclude states when we select it from this multi-valued list. To do this, we're going to go to data, click new data item, click parameter. Since this is a list, we need to make this a multi-valued character parameter. And we'll click OK. Next, we're going to add that parameter to our list. And then we're going to click on our map, go to Filters, New, Advanced Filter. And we will type in the following. The state variable is not in the list of states in the parameter. In other words, this is saying, give me every state that is not within this comma separated list. And then we'll click OK. Now, if we exclude Alaska and California, we will see that they disappear from the map. And the way this works is because it's looking for every state that's not in the comma separated list. We could see that right here. And that's how easy it is to create an exclusive list using parameters. Example five, dynamic variables. This is an advanced use case of parameters. You can use parameters to dynamically switch variables within an object. So here, we have a bar chart that allows you to dynamically switch between MPG City and MPG Highway. Notice that this is not a stacked container. This button bar is allowing us to switch between variables. Well, how does this work? First, let's take a look at our bar chart. Notice we have a variable called MPG here. Let's take a look at that. We have a parameter associated with that button bar. If the parameter is equal to MPG city, then return MPG city. Otherwise, return the variable MPG highway. So in other words, this is saying if the user clicks on MPG city, give me the MPG city variable. Otherwise, give me the MPG highway variable. Notice though, this variable name is MPG. This is static and cannot dynamically change. So how are we dynamically switching the variable name up at the top left? And the answer is through dynamic text. You can use dynamic text to help give people an idea of what they're looking at. So this simply holds the MPG type variable, and whenever we switch variables using the button bar, it will show up there. And that's just five ways that you can use parameters. There are lots and lots of other ways that you can apply parameters to your reports in Visual Analytics. If you want to see even more examples, check out my paper in the description below, Mastering Parameters in SAS Visual Analytics. If you have any questions, be sure to comment below and I'll be happy to answer them. And be sure to subscribe to the SAS Users YouTube channel. I'll see you in the next video. Should I try one more or do, do a cut? I think you're going to want to try to do one more because that's the perfectionist. That is, you. yeah.